I uh, sum up the property uh, and um, I'm gonna, I've got a load of pipe. Um, I've got a load of pipe fittings, copper fittings, copper pipe, and I'm going to have a go at just doing a bit of a dry fit really of the, um, of the bathroom. A um, little bit anxious. Um, got my pipe, got my fittings, lots of U-bends, lots of connectors. They're all push fit, they're all copper from screw fix. Hopefully they'll be all right. Um, water's turned off. Um, and so I'm going to just sort of like have a bit of a, just start measuring stuff out now, trying to work out what to do, where to connect stuff. Um, there's just one fitting which I haven't got today, which um, I'm due to collect from um, Screwfix tomorrow. I might be able to get away with it and just get them from Wix. I'm just not quite so sure about the quality of the stuff from Wix, so um, I'm not sure about that. I might just wait actually. But anyway, I'm just going to pan around now so you can see what I've got to deal with. Okay, so um, I've, um, I've chiseled out, or chased out, chiseled out, whatever, the wall to accommodate this bracket to connect the, um, the pipe work and the thermostatic mixer. Anyway, that just needs connecting. So hopefully I've chased out the wall sufficiently far enough um, for the copper pipes to sort of like sit down, sit in the actual channels which I've created. Okay, so that's gonna go down there. I've got to connect the pipe work down there, which should be quite interesting. Looking forward to that actually, to be honest. Over here is the um, um, where the basin's going to go. So I've just got to get the basin out, measure up against the wall, just to work out where that needs to go. So I should be doing that in a minute. And then um, what else have we got? Oh yeah, the loo over here. Just need a cold water feed, which we have. I've got a flexible um, connector, so that should actually with an isolation valve. So that should be all right. Should be able to sort that out, no problem at all. Um, yeah, should be quite good. And also we're going to have a new radiator down there. So I've got to have a look at the pipe work for that. Under here, got a bit more up, taken up the floor, so I've actually got access to the area you need. And then we're going to have a shower tray fitted in there. So uh, quite a bit of debris in there, as there normally always seems to be. Um, and there's a the shower tray. So that is it. I'll set up the camcorder, wait on a tripod, and uh, just sort of do a bit of recording and uh, see what happens really. Yeah, nice little bit of kit I bought today. Well, I bought from Amazon actually and collected it. It's a, it's a, a cleaner anti burrer for copper pipe. So um, yeah, it's pretty good. And uh, basically you cut your copper pipe with a pipe slice and then to make sure that everything's um, nice and clean and it doesn't bugger up the seals and you push fit, you use one of these just to sort it out clean at the end, do burr it, see what happens, should be all right. And uh, this is the, the, the splice for the copper pipe, which you just sort of like turn around in the appropriate direction to cut your pipe. Anyway, I'm going to do that now, cut the pipe down so I can do a bit of a dry fit really, see what it's like. So that's that cut nice and easy. And now we'll try out the deburrer. See if that's any good. Yeah, let's clean that up nicely, that's good. It flush to the wall. Yeah, that'll be okay actually. So that fits pretty decently in there. I also need some uh, some uh, cables in there just to hold it into place. But that should be fine. And I should be able to tile over that, no problem at all. 
Yeah, that should be pretty good. Just, that just needs to cut to size now. So that should be absolutely fine. And also, you're just going to do the same thing with the other one now. Just to make sure that um, that one will sit flush as well. Or at least sit within the, um, the channel. That'll be good. So, line that one up there. Same principle with this. That'll be good. Yeah, excellent. So, we'll need to worry about on that. Job is a good one. So, 15 millimeter stop end. Yeah, so that's what you're looking at, that there lot. So I need to use this to cap off some of these pipes in here. Apparently it's supposed to be very good. So providing that the pipes are cleaned properly, which they hopefully will be in deburred, well, which I'm gonna do anyway, and if I can get the other caps off, I should be using these. Pretty nifty, eh? There we go, I've polished it up and deburred it nicely. You can see the um, the old uh, rubble bag is pulled out. Um, it's uh, been really effective in trapping that water because just, it's just quite difficult to get a reasonable size container down there. So let's have a look, see if this is any good. Ah, oh, right, well that seems to have clipped into place quite nicely, it's snapped in, so that seems pretty reassuring, I'm quite happy with that actually. Right, so, got another pipe here, we don't need. So, uh, this one, that's going to have to come off as well. the dust. Sort the end out. Get that bad boy done. You don't want these things moving around too much in case it disturbs some of the old solder joints on here.
So I've just been spending a few minutes just um, um, just putting that basin into place just to sort of like work out where the pipe work and that's going to go. Just marking stuff off. So uh, you can see what happens. There's some flexible tap connectors there. Which um, so basically, I just need to bring the pipe work in at a sufficient point to enable all that to take place. So um, obviously, going to come pretty much be on the other side of that joist, um, and they're going to come off that pipe down there. Right. So I need to run a T off this bit here. Okay, and it needs to come across here, under there, in that direction up there and then run just up there. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this off, show you, that's the pipe. So I'm going to cut that off at the appropriate place. Okay, so it's got the right distance. I'm going to put a 90 degree push fit T in there, one of these little bar boys. So one of those is going to go in there T it off to come that way um, and then what I'm going to do with this pipe I'm actually going to sort of try and bend it so rather than using another one of those I'm going to try and put a bend in the pipe using a bending spring to see whether we can get the desired effect anyway I'll get back to you in a minute Back at the house again. Um, it's been a emotional roller coaster. There's been highs and lows. The highs are that all the plumbing side of things is done, and um, there are no leaks. One of the lows is the fact that I stuck my foot through the ceiling. Not my finest hour, but anyway, the ceiling needed to do it anyway because it had been leaked on before and it wasn't in the best of condition so arguably it was just meant to be anyway I'll show you what the um, what part work I've come up with so it does, you know it seems to work quite nicely um, lots of shiny fittings bit of shiny pipe bit of copper this is the grower mixer shower grower 1000 apparently it's supposed to be a fantastic bit of kit German engineering at its finest, allegedly. Anyway, had a little bit of water leak initially, but that was sorted out. Didn't tighten the um, nuts up and um, the water was coming through the olives. But anyway, that's now sorted. That's sorted down there. The 
Just put a little T-junction down there. Bent the pipe for the hot water feed. Put a nifty little connection down here. Bent the pipe, stuck another T-connector in there. Pretty nifty that, like so. It's got an out a 90 degree elbow in there. That's gone from a 22 mil pipe to a 15. They didn't have the connector needed, so I had a 22 15 15. So I had to cap the um, the bottom bit off. That's no big deal. Nice little bend in there in this pipe, and uh, once again 90 degree elbow on that. That's quite nice. There was an issue. I couldn't get cable. I couldn't get um, you know the um, the cable clips because of the the position of the pipes. So what I decided to do was to put nails in the joists and attach cable ties to them which I think is quite a good idea because it just enables you to keep them um, nice and secure so they won't rattle around and make a hell of a lot of noise every time the water comes on. Capped off one or two bits over here. Um, there we go. So they're capped off. So hopefully they'll remain watertight. So a 90 degree elbow, bent it, comes around the corner, under there little connector there so uh, that's excellent and over here so this is your um, hot water feed cold water feed I'm going to put a couple of um, isolator valves in just another little connector down there look so anyway basically that's it we'll have a look from downstairs once I say downstairs I mean down there so, Here's where it all went horribly wrong. There's my brew table. Bit of a state. We'll clean up there. There's my kettle. There's the um, the remainder of the ceiling. Yeah, wasn't very clever, was it? Anyway, so that's a mess. It'll be cleared up. It looks a mess at the moment, but once it all gets cut back. I'll put some new plasterboard in there, skim it over, and quite frankly, it'll be it'll just look absolutely fine. So um, here's some of the other stuff then. Okay, just zoom in on those. I'm quite proud of that actually, to be honest. So some nice shiny connectors there. Cupra fit, push fit. Okay. Um, and this this is the um, the connector which I was really not quite sure about doing because. I don't know, it's come straight off the cold water feed and I thought it's in quite a difficult place and I thought if that doesn't hold tight um, it's going to be a right sod to get to. What else have we got? Up there. So I'm going to put something on there just to um, um, try and get that connection a little bit straighter. There's your other elbow there, look. Um, what else? Yeah, that's where I bent the pipe. So that's pretty nifty and watertight. A little bit of cable in there. And to be honest with you, I think that's about it really.